Hey everybody, uh, so today I've got something special for you. Uh, Mr. Summers called and wanted a little help plowing up potatoes and getting them bagged and picked up and everything. So he called us and a few more friends to go help him. And uh, I wanted to get this footage on video because you won't see too many people anymore, uh, you know, doing this with a pair of mules. And what this implement is that he's pulling here it's a walk behind metal buster or row buster. Some people call them potato plow, but really what they are is a metal buster plow. And basically it goes down in the ground and makes a V shape and it throws dirt out to the left and to the right. Unlike a mold board plow, a mold board plow just turns it to one side. This uh, metal buster turns it out both sides as you can see here. And see those potatoes rolling out there? Uh, that's what this metal buster plow is good for. He went in and mowed, uh, cut all the vines down, and we've already plowed up three other rows to the right of where he's at now. And see, he's just got his mules walking straddle of that row, and his metal buster is set to go in real deep and get up under his potatoes and plow them out. And see how it's kind of rolling them out. And then after this, uh, all of us that are standing around here, we'll come in there and pick them all up and put them in sacks. And then after we get them sacked, uh, I'm going to bring the wagon in and load them all up in the wagon, and then we'll carry them to where they need to go. Now y'all, uh, this is my old David Bradley farm wagon and I'm just going to drive it down beside this field corn here and uh, they're going to load it up for me and then we've got a few places it needs to go. Uh, we, Mr. Summers made 24 sacks, I believe, averaging about 60 pounds a sack. So it was right around 1,500 pounds of potatoes on four rows that was probably 75 feet long, something like that. Uh, and this is the garden that he plowed up and I showed the video earlier in the year of him plowing. Uh, this is the same garden that he plowed in and my mules is munching <coughs> on his corn there. They act like they ain't never been fed. But, you know, it's manual labor uh, for the most part, hand picking them up and loading the sacks in the wagon and all that. And uh, like I say, we had 24 sacks and Mr. Summers kept 12. And then we divided the other 12 sacks up amongst all of us that was working. So it worked out good for everybody, you know. And plus we got to spend time with Mr. Summers uh, and help him out. And that means a lot to us too. I tell you, it's been a hot one here in Tennessee today, y'all. And uh, thankfully, everybody came together and we got this done pretty quick before it really got too hot. And uh, just had a good time doing it. You know, we all joked and kid around with each other and just had a good time. And we got to play with our mules, too. And that's always nice.
Okay, y'all, so what he's going to do now, he's going to take his, uh, his disc and run through here. And basically, it's just going to, if there's any taters that were left, and it's hard to do a good job picking every single one of them up. Uh, so what he's going to do is run this disc through here, and that's going to, you know, roll any remaining taters that we might have left out so we can find them. Uh, plus, it'll knock these hills down where he's healed these potatoes. Uh, you know, since he planted them, it'll knock the hills back down and get it level. And I'm sure he's probably got something on his mind that he's going to plant back in its place. Because keep them separated and just take them right now and eat them. The cut ones? He's going to turn it around, make one more round uh, through here just to level it up a little bit more and see if there's any more taters that we left.
Now, Pat and Pearl has walked this garden so many times, y'all, they could probably do this job on their own. Mr. Summers is uh, 83 years young this year, and his two mules, Pat and Pearl, are 22. Yeah, I ain't. Yeah, sure. Now, real quickly, y'all, this is an old house place on Mr. Summers' farm, and this is how he stores his potatoes. He spreads them out on the floor where they'll be in a cool, dark place. Well, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed this little tidbit. Thank y'all for watching, and have a great day.